Hello everybody, my name is Lictor24, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Brothers and sisters, devoted masses of the Four-Armed Emperor, the Day of Ascension will soon be upon us, only a few more days to wait until we have that sweet, sweet new Gene Steel Cult Codex goodness in our many, many hands. But until then, it's just another news roundup, guys. Uh, another picture for the Rumor Engine dropped, as you can see on the screen. Uh, not really giving much away. Looks kind of like uh, an oil pump, like uh, an oil well pump, the kind of things you see in old films where the, that's like the big hammer swinging back and forth. Kind of looks like one of them. But we've already seen a lot of heavy machinery drops for Gene Steel Cult, so I doubt it could be anything like that. Um, maybe something orcish. Could be something even Age of Sigmari. Maybe something to do with the Sky Dwarves. But if I were to put my money on anything, I would say that this is going to be another bit of terrain. GW are doing a really good job uh, recently of pushing new and interesting terrain with the Kill Team boxes and just uh, big box sets released in general. So I'm um, putting my money on saying this is going to be a Sector Mechanicus Promethean Refinery Pump, maybe? Maybe something along those lines? Yeah, don't think this is going to be anything army related. This is just going to be uh, terrain. But yeah, uh, make up your own assumptions, guys. Leave your comments in the description. Leave your comments in the description. No, leave your thoughts in the comments section below as to what you think this might is. But yeah, that's the rumor engine for the 5th of February. Moving on. I do believe all eyes for the competitive gaming world are on the Las Vegas Open. I believe that's on this week. Well, judging from the blurb on the warmer community page, it's on this week. Yep, all of our um, brothers and sisters who enjoy the competitive play, they'll be keeping a close eye on that, I'd imagine. Seeing what top lists come out on top lists come out on top. The tippy top lists that come out on top. Uh, I've seen one or two videos say the Gene Steel Codex, although it will drop before the event or before the major event stop, it won't be taken into account. So. Sadly, our brothers and sisters who are fighting the good fight for the Gene Steel Cult, or our beloved Star Gods, they're going to have to resume with it. Well, not resume, continue using the Index. So, you know, good luck to them. Hopefully, the Tyranids or Gene Steel Cults will come out nearly on top. They're the guys I tend to root for in these kind of situations. But, a lot of other people will be looking at uh, the LVO because Games Workshop do their studio preview, where they drop... Images of new models, sneak peeks, and things like that. So I will be keeping one of my many eyes on that particular segment there. Just make sure there's nothing that will squeak its way out without uh, reporting it back to you guys. Yeah, so moving on again. A G Steel Cult's Tactica video. or not video. A uh, Tactica blurb or Tactica report was dropped on the Warmer Community page. Going through the Colt Ambush and one or two potential tactics you can use. Uh, I've tried not to watch any early reviews for the G-Steel Cult Codex. I've peered at one or two, but as a rule, I've try I'm trying to stay away from them. I might not be succeeding that well, because I want a lot of this to be a surprise. I've heard a lot of people having a bit of confusion with the way the Colt Ambush markers work. Some people are saying that you, when you put them down, if you have an opponent who has flies and just comes straight into your deployment zone, that eventually, essentially they can destroy a unit because you can't set up within so many inches of an enemy or so many inch when you reveal yourself from the markers, you can't be near an enemy when it happens, or otherwise they're destroyed. So they're saying that this could be a way that uh, your opponent could destroy your models quite easily before they're even revealed. But on this particular Warhammer Tactica page, it's saying that your enemy can't move within nine inches of these markers, so I'm not understanding where the confusion is here. I mean, I'm pretty much going to put my money on the Games Workshop page, unless they've really not checked their facts and they've got this wrong, but uh, there seems to be a bit of confusion over that. The page goes into, obviously, setting up stratagems, going underground, your your DJ dude, the Clavagus, Clamalvus, whatever his name is. I am not going to be able to pronounce that right for the life of me. Your gunslinger dude, who I am definitely going to be buying. I think he's going to be having a... I think he does have a way you can target characters, and those pistols are badass. I think they do, like, two damage flat each, so this guy's going to be coming out guns blazing. All sorts of goodness. Um, apparently it mentions a way you can get your 
20 hybrid acolytes with hand flame has come up and dropping like 70 hits from deep strike which seems a bit disgusting to me combined with demolition charges i mean just an interesting little piece guys i recommend anyone really give it a read it's uh really to get your your various taste buds wet for the gene still cut codex uh what else is there what else is there Ah, yes, obviously, the Jeans Deal Courts have come out for, now for pre-order for the last couple of days. You guys probably already know this, but I wanted to go through some of the packages that GW are offering, just to give my little reviews on them. Starting off with the Codex, um, on, this is all going to be off the Warmer, uh, Warmer Shop page on <clears throat> online. The Cult Essentials, £52. That's pretty much going to get you your Dash Codex and your cards, your Tactical Objective cards. Now, personally, those dice are rubbish. In my honest opinion, I had those dice when the Gene Steel Codex first came out, a, the the very first batch of releases, and those dice are absolutely rubbish. You can't really tell what you're looking at when you're rolling your dice. The tuned dice they did, the the bone white ones were much much better. But again, personal preference, you might love them. I just personally think they're hard to understand when you're rolling. You've got uh, the entire pre-orders, 165 bones. Uh, let's have a look, see what that gets you. 165 bones, and you can pick up one Atalan Jackal, which is the five models, one Clamarvus, one Jackal Alphas, and one Locus. I think that's a bit of a false advertising there, because it shows you the drill as well in the actual picture. I don't know if that's a thing or not. Uh, the Battle Force Gene Steel Calls Insurrection. I think that's an existing box set. With that, you get your Magus, your Patriarch, your Primus, your two little Griblies to go with them, the Familiars. Your hybrids, your metamorphs, or the or the other version you can make with them. Uh, I think you've got your neophytes and your neophytes that have infiltrated the guard. I can't remember what they're called off the top of my head, which is embarrassing, really, because I spent last night painting up the some of the last ones of my models. Um, bah, I don't know. And you also get a the truck by the rock glider, the rock glider, the rock grinder, or the the truck equivalent for hundred pounds, yeah, pretty good, nice savings there. Although I do hear a lot of people are giving the acolytes, the the Imperial Guard acolytes, the the ones I've infiltrated the Imperial Guard, giving them a lot of sticks, saying because they don't benefit from the cult, the cult gene sex. Don't know how that really works, so you might want to hold off on purchasing any more of them. You've got your Atlan Jackals, which have come off pre-order, which is the five. Well, Five dudes, which is four dudes on bikes and one dude on a buggy or a little quad bike for £32.50 English or British pennies. Don't know exactly what this converts into dollars. Again, uh, live, in, uh, live in England land, so I'm looking on British pounds. You got your Jackal Alphas for £22.50. Oh, that's steep for one guy on a bike. Oh, that's, that's pretty expensive. You got your Locust, fifteen pounds. That's your bodyguard, dude. You got your new um, pretty lady, mate, uh, Magus, for fifteen pound. Your Nexus, fifteen pound. Characters seem like it'd be fifteen pound unless they're on a bike, in which case it jacks it up by another seven pound fifty. Apparently, you got your standalone codex for twenty five pound, and then you're going into your regular standalone stuff. Your GCL called Acolyte and Neophyte hybrids. Brood Cove and Goliath Truck. We'll go through them. They've been on there for a while. You know what the crack is with those guys. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Let's see. What else do we have? What else do we have? There you go. You got the awful dice for £17.50. I'd give that one a swerve, guys, in my honest opinion, if I were you. You got your Sanctus £15. Your Clamorvus. Clamorvus for £15. And I believe. I do believe that's it, guys. The limited edition is no longer available. I'm glad I snapped mine up. The Insidious Curse Collection is no longer available. The G Steel Coat Cult Collector Edition is no longer available. <laughs> the Neophyte Hybrid Squad, they're the Imperial Guard dudes, they're no longer available. The G Steel Cult Car is no longer available. They were giving them away free anyway. So yeah, it looks like that's it guys. Unless there's going to be a second wave of these books coming out, it looks like those have been and those have gone. So. That's it for today's video, guys. Just a quick roundup on the news, what's going on in the gaming world. Well, what's going on in the gaming world, as according to uh, a very narrow focus of 40k in his workshop. Alvio, Alvio Open? Or Alvio Open? The Las Vegas Open. That's the one. We'll keep an eye on that to see what uh, lovely previews drop. G-Steel Code Codex, Imminence. 
The day of uprising will almost be upon us. I'm very much looking forward to it, and I hopefully will see you guys on another video. Please leave your comments below uh, to discuss what you think of the bundles online, the prices, that kind of thing. Maybe what you think might be revealed at the LVO Open. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, if you didn't enjoy, leave me a reason why. And hopefully I will see you next time. Cheers, guys.